apps on fly.io can be deployed to multiple regions all over the world, and requests will be automatically routed to the nearest instance of your app. How do we do that? Hi, I'm Annie, I work at fly.io, and as promised, we're finally going to talk about Anycast. Anycast is what allows Fly to route requests to the version of your app closest to your users, and this shit is wild because we're not actually doing that much. We're actually just leveraging the magic of the internet. Let me explain. Anycast is what allows you to use the same IP for multiple servers. Think of an Anycast IP kind of like a Taco Bell franchise, all right? There are Taco Bells all over the world, and they're all called Taco Bell. But how do I know which Taco Bell is closest to me? To understand this, we need to talk about Border Gateway Protocol. BGP is like the backbone of the internet, okay? We're talking about physical routers all around the world that keep track of the fastest routes to any given range of IPs. These routes or series of network hops are noted when an IP range is initially advertised to a BGP router, kind of like a trail of breadcrumbs. And that is how the router knows the shortest way to get there. Using Anycast, a BGP router will have multiple routes to the same IP, just with a different series of network hops. And when a request comes in, the router will select the best pathway out of the bunch. So back to our Taco Bell analogy, a BGP router is kind of like using Google Maps to help us find the one closest to us. Now, granted, I don't actually know how Google Maps does any of that, but this is the best analogy I could come up with, so cut me some slack. Also, now I'm hungry. All right, but how does all this actually work with Fly.io? I'm so glad you asked. Well, when you launch an app, Typically, you'll be given a shared IP address to one of Fly's Edge servers, and this is where you'll point your custom domain. These shared IPs are Anycast IPs, and any request to your app will get routed to the nearest Fly Edge server. Now let's pause here, because I already know that some of you might be confused about something. If your domain shares the same IP as other Fly apps, then how the heck do requests get routed correctly? Well, once a request reaches an Edge server, it goes through the Fly proxy, and that knows that this domain belongs to this app, so that's where it should go. But we're not done yet, because your app is made up of multiple machines, each with their own private IPv6 address from your Fly virtual private network, and that's where we need to end up. So from the Fly proxy, your request travels over a secure WireGuard tunnel to one of these machines' IPs, finally arriving at the instance of your app closest to your user. And friends, that is how the sausage is made. Secrets revealed, you're welcome. Now, I only briefly touched about the Fly virtual private network and WireGuard, but if you'd like to learn more about ways to like access your Fly apps through like a secret backdoor, you should definitely check out my video on Fly domains. I've got a link somewhere I, or in the description. I don't know where to put it, but um, if you also would like to learn more about networking on fly.io, be sure to check out fly.io slash docs slash networking. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye. Boot your break. Look at the camera next time. Blah, 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 blah. Not sponsored.